This is a quick video tutorial on the Hunter X2 irrigation controller. This is a time-based irrigation controller. Uh, it's great for residential, light commercial applications. You can go one zone up to 14 zones. The unique part about it, it does come with the option for the wand, which allow, allows the uh, user to utilize that HydroWise platform. But right now we're just gonna use it as a time-based and we'll go through some of the programming. What we'll do is uh, when it's in the run position, it's set to go for the times that we have set and the start time that we have programmed. We'll start with date and time. What it does is it starts with the year. So we can go plus and minus. We'll hit the right arrow or advance, goes to the month and then the day, same thing, plus and minus. And then we'll do um, AM or PM or 24 hour. And then we'll go to the hour and then ultimately the minute, plus and minus. Next thing we'll program is the start time. So right now we have program A, and we'll have basically one start time at four, eh, we'll go up to 4.30 in the morning. And then you can see we've got basically four start times per program with the three programs A, B, and C. Now what we'll do is we just have a two zone system here. What we'll do is put zone one to 10 minutes, hit advance, zone two to 10 minutes with the plus and the minus. Next thing we'll do is the water days. What we'll do is we'll turn every day on. So we'll hit plus, plus. You can advance with the right arrow, plus, plus. Now with the water droplet above that day, it is watering every day currently. Seasonal adjust. What that does is right now it's set at 100%. So we're watering 100% of the run times we just programmed. You can go as high as 200% or you can go as low as 10% with this particular controller. You also have the option for pump start relay or master valve. Uh, right now we're just on a city water application with uh, no master valve. So we'll just leave uh, um, every zone off on a per zone basis. Manual is a way to run through a particular zone for X amount of minutes. Right now it's on uh, program A for 10 minutes. What we would do is just go up to run and it would ultimately uh, um, run zone one for 10 minutes. When it's in the off position, it's, uh, it's not gonna water. So right now we've got our program set, program A, and it runs just those two zones for 10 minutes. A unique feature on this controller that we use quite a bit is uh, delay watering. So when we're in the off position, we'll just hit the one, two, three, go back up to run, and right now it's, uh, it's gonna delay the watering for three days. Kind of a unique feature on this controller that we use quite a bit. The next thing is uh, you get the option for on or bypass with a rain sensor if, uh, if you have a rain sensor attached to this particular controller. Typically leave it in the on position, but if you need to do some service or like it to run, um, we can just simply bypass the rain sensor and allow the irrigation controller to run. Thank you for watching.